Welcome to Medicine Handy Point. We today we will discuss history taking from patient presenting with hematuria solestite. First, we will discuss briefly this table. Uh, in this table, there are different diagnoses which can be made in a patient presenting with hematuria. So, in a patient with age less than 45, we will consider pulmonary renal syndromes, which are ghost posture. Wagner and microscopic polyangiitis and we should also consider glomerulonephritis which includes IgA nephropathy, post-infection, uh, GN, Alport syndrome, musculitis, we will discuss HSP, uh, we will discuss po polyarthritis nodosa uh, and connective tissue disease, systemic sclerosis and SLE. In a patient presented with more than 45 years old with hematuria, we should consider renal cell carcinoma, transitional cell carcinoma of ureter and bladder and prostatic carcinoma. We should also consider BPH, benign prostatic hypertrophy, infection, prostatitis. Diagnosis of hematuria in all age group, we should all, always consider renal calcula infection like pyelonephritis, cystitis and TB of uh, urinary tract. Drugs like anticoagulants can cause hematuria, cyclophosphamide cause hemorrhagic cystitis, other uh, like bleeding disorder patient having hemophilia and catheterization can also cause hematuria. So let's discuss the history. So we will ask about the onset and duration uh, for how long the patient is having hematuria and when did it start or it is how it is progressing. Then we will ask the number of episodes. Does it occur once a day or it occurs every time the patient goes to pee? Then we will ask about the color of the urine, whether it is bright red or brown. Then we will ask uh, whether this the, the the blood comes in the beginning so if it comes in the beginning it's usually a urethral source if the blood is mixed with the urine throughout the stream then it is mostly from the kidney or ureter and if the blood comes at the end of the urine it is mostly from the bladder or prostate so very important statement this one then uh, we'll ask about any clot pass Round clots are usually from the bladder and elongated clots are usually from upper urinary tract. Then we, once we have asked all these questions, then we will proceed to causes. So in urinary tract, we should ask about the frequency, urgency and dysuria. If these are present, it mostly a UTI. If the patient is complaining of line pain, or suprapubic pain and colicky in nature, so it's usually a stone. And if the patient is complaining of poor stream, hesitancy, dribbling, drib, uh, dribbling of the urine, and incontinence means a prostatic disease, either prostatic malignancy or BPH or prostatitis. A frothy urine means uh, uh, proteinuria, so means some uh, glomerulonephritis should be kept in mind. Now, if the patient complained that the patient has a recent upper respiratory infection one to two days back, so it's IgA nephropathy. But if patient complains the patient is having upper respiratory infection uh, one to two weeks ago, it's mostly post-infectious GN. A hemoptysis uh, along with hematuria, so consider pulmonary renal syndromes, which we discussed earlier. Now, rheumatologically, as we discussed, non uh, so it includes the vasculitis as well. So, non blanching purpura, such as HSP and other rashes, we should look for Wagner and polyarthritis nodosa. Malarish suggests SLE, so SLE causes lupus nephritis. And tight skin suggests systemic sclerosis. Then systemic symptoms. If the patient is complaining fever with rigors along with hematuria, maybe the patient is having pyl pyelonephritis. If the patient is complaining of weight loss and anorexia, mostly it is malignancy. Recent trauma should be asked as rhabdomyolysis can cause myoglobinuria 
which give dark color to the urine so uh, which can resemble hematurium so which is not in fact the hematuria the uh, uh, other uh, causes for rhabdomyolysis are burn injuries exercise fall seizure and certain use now in past medical history you sh we should ask about previous episode of uti calculi renal stones and malignancy of the urinary tract in the past in the past history we should ask about uh, connective tissue disease like sle uh, systemic sclerosis we should ask about bleeding disorders medication we should especially ask about anticoagulant and cyclophosphamide and we should ask about rifampicin use which can give dark color to the urine we should ask about beetroot use which also causes dark urine in a family history we should ask about uh, family history of renal stones bleeding disorders malignancy of urinary tract and we should ask about hereditary renal conditions like alport syndrome uh, recreational drugs like uh, ecstasy and heroin use can cause rhabdomyolysis so we should ask about illicit drugs use in social history we should ask about occupation as exposure to dye rubber benzenes and ethylene can cause transition cell carcinoma of the bladder smoking can also cause renal cell carcinoma and transition cell carcinoma travel uh, so if the patient goes to area with uh, and has a fresh water swimming which uh, with the cystosomiasis over there uh, the cystosomiasis can enter into uh, is kind of a parasitic infection which can enter into the urinary bladder and can cause squamous cell carcinoma we'll ask about the sports marathon runner uh, and boxer uh, they had a trauma so uh, after being hit repeatedly which can lead to rhabdomyolysis and can give uh, uh, the uh, feeling of uh, hematuria when the patient pass urine you should ask this i hope you like the video and please subscribe to the channel